before there was this virtual reality called our physical universe, there was just a lot of IUOCs chatting with each other, the big chat room. And they were evolving. They were growing. They, were, they could make choices and they could learn some from the choices. It's just they weren't growing very quickly. They could grow much more quickly if they had more meaningful choices, ethical choices, things that, that carried lots of entropy with them. If they did it this way, you know, entropy would, would blossom. If they did it that way, you know, entropy would decrease. Things that had consequences that were very meaningful. So that's the reason why I needed to create the virtual reality for us to play in. But without that virtual reality, it was in a, really a little virtual reality that, that the, the rule set was just communication protocols. That's the first virtual reality was communication protocols. So they could all communicate with each other because without that, they couldn't even communicate with each other. So that's the first virtual reality. Virtual reality is just where you define a set of rules that everybody has to live by. That makes a virtual reality. It's a game. You know, it's a virtual reality game. If you think of it as a game, uh, if there's no rules, then there's no game. So you only get a game going by making rules. You only get connections and interactions if there's rules. And the first rules you need are how to communicate. So that's like the first virtual reality. And that's all they had for a long time was just they could communicate and they did evolve. And that was a good thing. And they went from that plateau when it was just one thing, one monolithic consciousness. That's why that monolithic consciousness plateaued. It wasn't growing very much for that same reason. It didn't have any interaction with others. It was just the things it could think to do questions it could come up with to answer, but just one monolithic thing kind of runs out of intent after a while. It's played all the, it's done all the things it can think of. That's when it had to make the other, the, the IUOCs with free will to interact with it. And it did grow more after that. Matter of fact, after it made those IUOCs is when the larger conscious system did its greatest growing up, I think. When it first created all those IUOCs, it still had a pretty big ego. It still was not very grown. And it had all these IUOCs and it started out with, okay, all you IUOCs, here's what we're going to do. Cooperate. And the IUOC said, no, thank you. You know, I'm busy today. So it just didn't work out. And then the larger conscious system tried to push, tried to make them act nice and cooperate and found out that if you try to bully things to make them act nice and cooperate, it just makes everything worse. So it was us, we IUOCs, that really taught the larger consciousness system how to grow up, that love is the only way you can connect with things. It's the only thing that'll work. If you try to push and force and bully, you end up creating more entropy than you, you, know, than you reduce. All right, you get everybody to stand in a nice sharp line, and that seems to be orderly and decreases entropy, but everybody standing in line hates it. They don't want to stand in line. So that the fact that they don't want to stand in that line and you're making them do it anyway, that creates a whole lot more entropy than you decrease by just having them stand in a line. You see, so it, it eventually... Uh, the larger kinds of system grew up and realized that you had to, you know, that, that free will was sacred. You don't overrun anybody else's free will and kindness and caring and love is the only thing that works. So that was us. Now we didn't teach it that because we knew it. We taught it that because we all had our own free will and we were all over the place. As soon as we got our own free will, we started to diverge because we started having different experiences, doing different things for different reasons. And pretty soon you get all these IUOCs and now you get all kinds of them. They have diverged all over the place. You've got a very, you know, more diverse kind of population and attitudes. It made it that the larger consciousness system had to learn to become love. And we were the teacher. Now, we are each other's teacher now. Now it's all the IUOCs and we're playing in this virtual reality and we're doing the same thing. 
we have to learn that we can get further and do more and be and and be a lot happier if we're caring and cooperative and loving with people than if we try to push things to make them be the way we want them that just doesn't seem to ever work very well so we're in that same thing and we're trying to grow up so and we are our own teacher here in this one we don't have something else like that and just for a history connection with that history there's a couple of connections actually is one of them is the difference between the Old Testament and the New Testament in at least Christianity, a testament, you know what that is. The Old Testament, you had a vengeful, angry God. Do what I want or I'll turn you into a pillar of salt. Do what I want or whatever. And you have this jealous, angry God that uh, was trying to bully his IUOCs into working cooperatively or being nice or whatever it is he wanted them to do. You know, pay attention. We're all going to do this together. And it didn't work out. And then in the New Testament, it's all about love. It's a different thing. And that's one historical point. And then another one is you have indigenous people. And many indigenous people have this myth where a long, long time ago, they lived in a place where everything was easier and happier and everybody got along and there wasn't a lot of chaos and heartache and sorrow and misery. And then this awful thing happened and they ended up here. Okay, and that mythology takes different, different turns and explanations in different places. But a lot of people have that, you know, the, I think the Hopi Indians, they say they came from the stars. You have a lot of people, they came from Atlantis. And Atlantis was this wonderful place, you know, and now everything's degraded and it's, it's tough here now, but it used to be good. What that is, is basic, you know, you have this collective consciousness thing among people. Well, that's kind of the collective consciousness that has that has evolved into our present collective consciousness of when all the IUOCs were strongly encouraged to get into the virtual reality, to log on and play the part of an avatar. Well, they went from this chat room, which was very benign environment. There was nothing negative that really happened there very often, but there really wasn't much very positive happened there very often. There wasn't much of anything really happened there because it was just a chat room. So it may have been kind of boring, but it was calm and peaceful and not hard. It was easy. Got into this virtual reality and it was life and death and hunger and cold weather and all kinds of terrible things and fighting. And, and of course, that's when things got terrible. So that common thing that we find in humanity about we came from a nice peaceful place and now we're in this place and it's terrible. That's where that origin is. It's part of the collective consciousness of humanity. And it comes back from that time. Why else would, you know, 50 different indigenous cultures all over the planet all have the same very similar myth? Well, that's why, because that's, you know, it's a shared myth among humans that we got here and found it a hard, a hard place to live, but we used to live in a nice place. Well, we didn't really live in such a nice place. It wasn't all that functional, but it wasn't, it wasn't hard either. It was, it was easy. So that's just some you know, a couple of historical data points like New Testament, you know, Old Testament, the New Testament and whatever, that you can see the larger consciousness system had to grow up too. It wasn't born grown up. Yes, it was a it was a system that was just one monolithic system, very limited, made a bunch of IUOCs. And that made all the difference in the world, because it started to grow up and more than just patterns of patterns of patterns. And that sort of thing, it, it had something else to do. And it made all the difference.